There is more to Yizkor than meets the eye. On the last day of Pesach, we'll be reciting Yizkor as we do on Yom Kippur, Shmini Atzeret, and the second day of Shavuot. Yizkor, of course, is our prayer for departed relatives. During a festival, we enjoy immensely the presence of Mishpacha family, and we also miss very deeply those who have passed away. So it's totally appropriate at the conclusion of the festival that we pray for their souls. The term Yizkor is taken from the opening word of the prayer, Yizkor Elokim, may God remember so and so. And of course, we're familiar with the fact that we're calling upon Hashem to remember those souls. But actually, there's far more to Yizkor, something which not everybody is aware of. Because that dimension of Yizkor enters into what we ourselves wish to do. You see, every time the Torah mentions the concept of Zichira remembering, it actually alludes to action, which must accompany that mental activity. And that is why, in the very brief and moving Yizkor prayer, we make a pledge to give to charity, to practice good deeds, Ba'ad haskarat neshama, for the sake of the remembrance of that soul. In this way, we guarantee that the goodness and the piety of the person who's passed away will be perpetuated in this world. It's in this spirit that Kaddish is recited. Services are led during a period of mourning on yard sites, and that is why we light candles in memory of the deceased in order to symbolize the fact that the light that they shed continues to burn brightly here on earth. And in addition to that, we perpetuate their kindness through the good deeds that we perform, showing that their guidance and their inspiration will continue throughout all generations. I believe that there is a very important message that we should all take on for ourselves from this. It relates to our own legacies. Nobody can live forever. So when the time comes for us to be called to our maker, what will be the test of the value of the lives that we have led? It will all be determined according to the manner and the extent to which we would have inspired other people to continue through acts of goodness thanks to the guidance that we have given. So therefore, while Yizkor, of course, is all about death, it's actually far more about life. I wish you all Chag Sameach.